This is a quick comparison of EndNote to Mendeley to Zotero. Oftentimes people ask me which one should I use. So EndNote is really terrific for academic research, using journal articles, also using books, when you have to manage very large bibliographies and use references on multiple occasions. It, so as a citation managing software, it's, it's really probably one of the best, um, if not the best. Uh, the downside is that it's very expensive. It's a couple hundred bucks to get the software to use. It does work on uh, on the desktop as well. Uh, you can link through the cloud and it works on the iPad to read resources. Um, but plugging in the PDFs can be a little bit clunky at times. So one little side note, if you are a grad student or a student and you can get a free copy or a discounted copy, by all means get it and use it, especially if you're doing a thesis or a dissertation or a systematic review. But make sure that you download your information locally because eventually if you don't continue to pay for the subscription, you'll lose access to it. So you can download your uh, reference list and you can upload that reference list into Mendeley. So they work kind of uh, kind of cooperatively in that regard. So Mendeley is, uh, I personally think it's the best, and I don't own any stock in it, but it's the best at handling PDFs. If you tend to read a lot of PDFs, want to make notes on a lot of PDFs, want help organizing them, Mendeley does that brilliantly. There is a plugin to Microsoft Word, so you can use it as a citation manager. It's a little bit, um, tricky to really use for that accountability if you're doing a systematic review and you have to count up your search and account for it. So that's one thing that it doesn't do as well as EndNote, but the beauty is it's free and you can use it, sync it across multiple devices. Zotero, um, where did you go? There you are. Zotero is um, very easy to use, also free. You can also get paid upgrade for uh, extra storage. What Zotero does brilliantly is it enables you to save web-based resources. It's like scrapbooking software. So I do a lot of business intelligence these days. So I'm using um, resources from the CDC and the World Health Organization and things like that. And I can't easily bring those into Mendeley or EndNote and track them. So when I'm doing that type of research, I use Zotero. So for me, since I work across disciplines and in different areas, I actually use all three of them for different purposes. And uh, that just helps me stay organized rather than at one point I years ago had an EndNote library with about oh, 18,000 citations in it, and it was really hard to find. And at that point, I had mostly PDFs of articles in a file cabinet that I pulled out and highlighted. So in looking at our breakdown here, uh, I just pulled together a down and dirty little table for you. So if you look at the cost, uh, Mendeley Zotero, both free. You can get paid upgrades, paid premium packages if you need them. Those are annual subscriptions. What they do best, EndNote's a great organizer, really quick citation bibliographies. It allows you to uh, click on a citation and copy it out if you're doing a poster presentation. And it's really, really terrific for accounting for systematic reviews. So I search these databases. I've got a video in here somewhere for that. Uh, found this many references, got rid of the duplicates, got rid of the other things, and found my four or five that met my inclusion criteria which is always the case, right? Uh, Mendeley PDF storage access use. P Mendeley also, by the way, taps into a larger research network. So any documents that get uploaded into Mendeley and cloud version of Mendeley, they, the, the intelligence of the software starts to organize them more. So if you pull in a reference and it doesn't actually have all the metadata, you can search Mendeley to see if somebody else, else has already uploaded that. So that's really terrific. It's like an own little independent library. And then organizing references by categories and across categories, uh, and those references meaning those PDFs, really helps uh, when your work gets a little bit more niche. Zotero, what it does really well is track web-based references, um, and it's the best uh, resource for non-journal article material. I should say resource there, not source. Um, and organizing references by categories across categories, Zotero and Mendeley both do that, or you have the capability of doing it yourself there. Um, what can improve with each of them? EndNotes, the PDFs, are, they're only local and it's a little clunky. Um, and the systematic review accounting in Mendeley or Zotero just it doesn't really work quite so well. And then Zotero, you have to um, 
and, and often manually enter your metadata. Uh, remember that you need the metadata to find articles if the word is not in the title. So last thing um, I really want you to, th to think about is that if you are co-authoring papers with other people, whichever one of these you choose, everybody needs to use that one thing. Because if you don't, if you're using Mendeley and somebody else is using EndNote, then your it will become very difficult to manage any of your reference material. Uh, and in some cases, your bibliography can kind of wipe itself out and you have to start from the beginning. So decide what you're going to use. Each of these has the ability to integrate small teams uh, when you're sharing libraries and sharing references. So agree upon something and keep yourselves organized. And that gets rid of a whole lot of the headache of research. And you can then focus on the fun stuff.